Okay, deep breath. Everything will be okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So, hello. Welcome to uh, another video. Uh, my name is Dylan. Uh, I make YouTube videos about autism and anxiety and uh, other stuff that relates to that. Uh, those things, I guess. Glad to be back, especially after my last video was about how I was going to reboot my channel. And I like this shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess, a recent uh, gift that I got from my parents. And it's a, like a topographical map of mountains and it's it says it's like I think 90% recycled plastic and the rest is spandex and I gotta say I actually really like spandex. I like that you know spandex it kind of has a form to it but it's it's not tight or restricting and it's, it's stretchy and I can move. I see why superheroes wear spandex all the time. <laughs> but actually, that's not why I'm making this video. Although I, I probably should make a video about clothes and autism. But that's in the future, <laughs> yeah. This video is actually going to be about this production assistant job I was going to work on for a few days, but ended up not working on it. Yeah, so if you don't know, um, I did go to college for film and video and graduated with a bachelor's degree, and I've been trying to find a career in filmmaking and for quite a while now I've been working these production assistant jobs uh, usually when they come to my area which unfortunately isn't uh, that often because I, I, I don't live in California or New York or Atlanta but I I have worked usually uh, at least a couple uh, each year. So yeah, that, that's good. And I was supposed to work another one. Uh, There's just a whole bunch of what I saw as red fl flags, warnings that I guess <laughs> really flared up my anxiety and didn't give me a good feeling. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm not gonna go into real specifics. The warning signs were like mainly about communication. The person who hired me said he was going to send me important paperwork, but ended up not. And he was supposed to contact me uh, on a specific day that, and time that we set up. It didn't happen and he, he did let me know about that and apologize and said he would call me another day, but I thought he was going to call me at the same time that we agreed on, just on a different day, but it ended up being when I was at my day job working. Would have been preferable if he called on the first setup date because that was my day off from work and it would have been a lot better. Yeah, this is, this is like communication stuff that I had seen on other production assistant gigs that I worked and 
when those other things happened, it was not a pleasant uh, work experience. I, I guess I'll say. I mean, it wasn't wasn't like abusive or anything, but just it was just bad. The jobs that I worked at had the person who hired me. They were more communicative, communicative, communi more communicated. What I don't know, <laughs> but they they I guess they were just more organized, and those uh, gigs turned out to be the better gigs that I had more of an enjoyable experience. And I even had one gig, as I'll call them now, uh, where uh, it was a production shoot that was filming in my area and they had someone drop out uh, like at the last minute. They, they found my contact info online and reached out to me and uh, uh, hired me and I got on board in I, I think less than a week and they had uh, yeah had everything ready to go for me yeah it's good and but when I first started doing PA work production assistant I would often have to fill out the paperwork on my first day on location and yeah you know, nowadays everything is done online and and uh, also uh, he, he mentioned when I talked to him over the phone that it was just going to be a really small crew like three or four people total including me which I've done those types of shoots before and they, they work. Yeah, good, good shoots. Yeah, but then uh, the, the night before my first day, I, I, I get the, the call sheet, which is really just a schedule for the day. It, it also has a whole bunch of other informations. Informations? <laughs> no. Uh, whole bunch of other information on it and really almost any thing you need to know what's on the call sheet and when I looked at it it said all the names of the crew that would be working on it and the number was in the double digits and I was listed as the only production assistant. And in video production, a larger crew needs more production assistants. Yeah, it's just bigger and uh, more stuff to do. The larger crews that I've worked for, I could not imagine being the only production assistant working. But I would say that if the number of people in your crew is in double digits. You need more than one production assistant. And so with the lack of communication and not receiving the start paperwork and reading a call sheet that was different from what he said, the shoot was going to be like, my anxiety is going wild, I might have even had like an internal anxiety attack. I made a video uh, a long time ago at this point about if I get anxiety attacks or panic attacks and uh, I, I can li link it up here, up there, and yeah, I, I would say I don't get like outward attacks, like those attacks where you're like sweating and you're, you, uh, you're breathing heavily and you, you, uh, 
uh, might think you're having a heart attack or some other health emergency. Uh, I don't get those types, but it, I do get like internal ones where it's just like, I guess it's pins and needles kind of feeling all throughout my body. And it also kind of feels like uh, that feeling you have when you're falling, but I'm not falling and uh, it, it, it's just not a good feeling. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave it at that, yeah. I was, yeah, getting this feeling. I'm just like, I don't think I can do this. No, you know what? That's it, I'm done, I quit. Yeah, so uh, I uh, wrote out a brief statement about what I was gonna say to the guy. And then the next morning I purposely uh, sleep in too late as I was expecting he calls me uh, yeah, uh, shortly after the time that I was supposed to be meeting them. Uh, although I would have preferred if he texted me, but you know, wh whatever. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he calls me and I get the phone. I go s sit down at my table and I got my statement out in front of me and I pick up the phone to talk to him and he, he's it's like, hi, this is so-and-so or are you on your way or did, did you sleep through your alarm? And I'm uh, struggling to get out what I wrote down. Yeah, yeah, I, I should have took a deep breath before I answered the phone. I think that would have helped. Okay, so my camera just decided to randomly stop recording. I don't know why. <laughs> the battery's full and I'm using my large uh, memory SD card. So, I don't know, maybe my camera just got bored with me. <laughs> but, all right, so, where was I? Right, yeah, yeah, so, I'm on the phone with Sam and trying to get out the words that I wrote down. They're not coming out easily, and so there's a lot of awkward silence and me saying, like, um, and, uh, and other weird noises that you make when you're, when you're, I guess, kind of stuttering. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I don't know how long this went on for, uh, but hopefully it wasn't as long as it felt, <laughs> but, yeah, so, anyway, I finally start uh, saying what I wrote down. When I'm saying it, I am kind of like muttering and mumbling and kind of like talking like this and rushing, trying to get out all the words and just, <laughs> yeah, just talking so softly. It was probably a little bit hard to hear me even on the phone, but, but I know he did because he interrupted me uh, a couple times with stuff that I just said, which I really, really don't like it when people interrupt me because yeah, I got stuff in my head I'm trying to get out and it's not always easy for someone like me and they interrupt me and then I have to process what the person just said and maybe try to respond to it, but then also get back to what I was saying and, and 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just not good. Yeah. Uh, unless the person interrupts me to finish my sentence. Yeah. Then, yeah, then I'm like, okay, good. We're, we're on the right page. Or interrupt me just to, uh, like, say, no, no, you're, you're on the wrong track. We're actually talking about something else. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah, unless you do those two things, then a person interrupting me just throws me off. And yeah, I don't like it. It's not good. And yeah, so I get through what I wrote down and I end the call by saying, I can't work for you. Goodbye. And then I hang up. And then I block his number on my phone. And then I go to my computer and I block his email. And then I delete all of our correspondence, emails, texts, phone calls. I, I delete all of that. So there's no way for either of us to contact each other. <laughs> Probably did that because of my anxiety. My gut feeling was just telling me, don't go through with this. Get out! You know, I, actually, I've heard that that feeling inside your gut is actually connected to your brain. So always trust your gut feeling. That's the moral of this video, I guess. Or, I don't know. I'm sure it, the guy was very confused by my phone call. I probably would be too, because <laughs> I didn't show any signs that I was going to back out. I just kind of sp sprung it on him, which was my fault. <laughs> yeah, I now kind of regret not reaching out to him sooner. <laughs> but, but I had to write down what I wanted to say to him before. Yeah. But, but hey, what's done is done, and okay, look, there is a chance that I could have been wrong. Uh, I could have done this gig, and it would have all been fine and pleasant and had a good experience. That is all possible. Uh, I admit I could be wrong, but just from my past experiences, I would doubt it. Yeah, so I won't get paid for doing that job. Which, this isn't the first time that I decided not to get paid for a PA gig. There's another job that I worked in the summer years and years ago where it was supposed to be a, a four day. Yeah, yeah, that, that's four. <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to work for four days, but the total time I actually worked was like four hours because apparently they didn't need me at all. Yeah, there, there's also been gigs that have worked where I feel like they didn't even need to hire a PA and I'm just getting paid to do nothing. With gigs like those, you might as well just not hire me and send me the money. There's almost no difference. Yeah, but I also want to say that uh, I have privilege where I can turn down money, I guess, and choose not to do jobs that at, you know, at, actually do pay well. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit that. So that's something that I've actually never done before. Yeah, usually when I want to get out of something, I just like ghost the person, whatever it is, like, yeah, I just ghost the person and just don't tell them anything, which, you know, ghosting doesn't really make sense because ghosts don't just leave people. They stick around, they haunt you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That's another social term that I don't get. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, until next time, goodbye, and remember, deep breaths. Slowly. Yeah, you have to do it slowly. Otherwise, if you equip me, it won't work. So, yeah. Goodbye.